It's been protected from human impact since 1909. With three million acres, nearly a half million underwater, Superior National Forest is largely unspoiled. But now the survival of this national treasure rests with those who'd see some of it burn. When a massive windstorm like flattened water. nearly a half million acres of trees in July of 1999, the Forest Service knew a major wildfire was inevitable. They referred to this area simply as the blowdown, over 700 square miles of kindling just waiting for a spark. Yeah, we're kind of wondering why that hasn't happened uh, on when it's twice as dry, twice as warm and windy, and, and there's lightning out there. But um, so far, we just haven't had lightning in, uh, in a good patch of timber to burn. On this day... Just to let you know, the magnetic rock burn is a go. The Forest Service will strike the match. The weather forecast for today is favorable. But not before checking that conditions are just right. Pretty consistent, mainly southwesterly, 10 to 15. Gusts of wind more than 15 miles per hour in the wrong direction could be disastrous. And if things go wrong, if the fire gets out of control, it will be burn boss Tim Norman who's responsible. Good to go. Yeah, Tim, we're uh, ready to launch the torch if you are. It will come from above. The helicopter disappearing over this ridge will drop a flaming gel on the forest floor. The natural fuel there does the rest. For hours, wave after wave of air assaults rain fire from above. This is the time when all that planning to keep homeowners safe is put to the test. Before the burn, during the burn, and after the burn. We're trying to look at as many angles as we can to try and outguess what could possibly happen and, and conduct this safely. In the end, a plan with promise gave way to some disappointment. No safety problems, but the Forest Service had hoped to burn 1,300 acres. Shifting winds and problems with the flaming gel limited the burn to just 200. But that is still a significant amount of forest to burn. How long will this area take to green up? Oh, it'll be green uh, by next spring. This area now creates a much needed buffer between the blowdown and hundreds of homes and businesses on the edge of the wilderness burning the forest to keep a future wildfire in check. It's a huge job that's only just begun.